Well, it's Tuesday morning, 30% off on senior day at Savers. So I'll see you at the thrift shop. You know, the first place I always hit when I go into the thrift shop is the jewelry store and it's the uh, glass cabinets up in the front. Well, good afternoon, ladies. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon and I've shared some of my thrift haul with Moosey and I, I'm so excited to show you. I just put on some makeup. I was at the thrift store. It's going to be a um, a full day here because I'm going to be editing tonight and hopefully you'll see this tomorrow. Had a wonderful day at the thrift shop. This video is going to be my wonderful thrift haul as well as you're going to see Moosey playing mud pies in the garden. Well, actually, he's making something very special for the garden, but it did involve playing in the mud. So this is gonna be a fun video. I am very excited. My hair, I was gonna dress up for this, but this is what I wore to the thrift shop and I'm afraid this is what it has to be now. So I'm gonna start off by sharing my haul and then we'll get into Moosey, which I did this morning. I, I videoed him this morning in the garden. We've had a full week. I had not been to a thrift store in over a month and I was having withdrawals. I love my thrift shops. And there wasn't anything in particular that I was interested in, but I wanted to go on Senior Day, which is today at Savers, and you save 30%. Well, it's a good thing that I had that discount because I did go a little overboard and I'm gonna share it all. I think I'm going to start first with my fashion and the accessories. Now, when I did a video months ago about how to do a good thrift haul, I always go in the door and to the left are the jewelry counters. And I always hit those jewelry counters first, as I did this time. And I have a very lovely gentleman who handles the jewelry counters. His name is Richard, he's an elderly gentleman and he always helps me. So it was very, very crowded today. I couldn't even get a cart. People were standing in line for carts, but that's okay, that didn't stop me. I didn't wanna waste the time. So I started right off with the jewelry. Now, what I picked out today was five rings and five bracelets and a bunch of necklaces. Now, all the necklaces that I found were mostly wood or dark beads to go with the wood jewelry that I had picked up through the shine.com site. And it, it's a lovely summer type of a jewelry to wear with a lot of the off whites and the whites and summer things. We do have a lot of events that we're going to. And so I'll start with the rings. Now, I'm going to put them, take off my own jewelry here, and I'm just going to put them all on my fingers here to show you. Most of them are what I might describe as maybe Aztec influenced, except one, which is a, a really pretty stone, the rings anyway. And one of the necklaces is a beautiful uh, Aztec inspired silver pewter type necklace. Now, most of all these rings were $2.99, $3.99, or $4.99. And let's see, I think I have them all on one hand. Now, can you tell this one down here, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on just a minute, is a, a pearl. And these will fit most rings. They're all on some kind of an adjustable silver band. This is the one I thought was lovely. And it's somewhat like a marcasite 
and it has a purple stone in it. As a matter of fact, I did get a marcasite bracelet to match this, which is beautiful. This one is very Aztec inspired and it uh, it's just filigree. This one has some stones in it and also is Aztec inspired. And this particular one here is, uh, I thought it was a purple stone of some kind. And it and this is the only one that has a gold edging on it. So these are my ring holes today. Aren't they fabulous? Now I'll show you, I think I'll show you the Aztec statement necklace now because it's very different. If I can find it here. Look at this one. Isn't that great? Maybe another one too. Two is always better than one. Um, maybe I should have put them on the other fingers, but this is the other one that I like. I didn't realize, but two or three of these necklaces, when I was picking out the necklaces, came with earrings that go with them. Um, these are nice. They're a little bit drop, a little bit small for me, but maybe not. But I loved this necklace. Now, this doesn't go a lot of places, but for me, <laughs> it will. I think it would look nice with um, maybe a, an open neck of some kind. But can you see what they are? Now, this is inexpensive, obviously. It's not meant to be anything that looks high end, but it's a, a sort of a pewter color and it's very, to me, Aztec looking. And this will be fun to wear. Look how nicely it goes with the rings. So the necklace, I believe, was $3.99. And as I said, most of the rings are either two to $4.99. $4.99 was probably the Marcusite one. As you know, I love gold cuffs and I've gotten many of these. This one, I believe, was a thrift from a long time ago. Isn't this a great cuff? It's tiny, tiny gold strands and it has little rhinestones. I don't believe they're colored. They're just little rhinestones all around, and it is a cuff. Isn't that fabulous? I believe this was $3.99. Now, this will go great. I do have some great gold jewelry, and I love this. One of the other gold bracelets that I did get today was this one, and this is um, a, a beautiful gold, slightly stretchy circular band mixed with silver chains and two rings on each side. And I would probably wear it with this cuff. As you know me, the more the merrier. Isn't that a pretty bracelet? Here's the Marcusite bracelet. Now, you know, some of these could be estate pieces. A lot of them is just uh, costume jewelry, but every once in a while you find something that could be valuable. This might be one of them. And you can see all the marcasites surrounding it. I love the size of it. And this bracelet is, is very attractive also. To save time, I've put them all on at once. I think I bought five necklaces. And this one, as you can see, are a beautiful, um, I think there's wood round beads on here mixed in with some shell beads. Aren't they beautiful? And as I say, the necklaces were probably mostly $3.99, maybe $4.99. So we'll take that one out for a minute. This one has a pendant on the end. This one might have earrings that match. It's just a little jingly. There's something here that looks like a Tory Burch insignia and it runs on this stone this seems like metal but it looks like wood and it has dark beads around that's a little clingy might have to do something about that here's another one mixed in with um, all beads and dark buttons it looks like very very pretty and all of these remember i had that big cuff i bought at shine.com the big wooden cup that will go beautiful with all these. Same with this. These are just a bunch of beads. As this one as well, buttons and beads. Aren't they pretty? Obviously, you wouldn't wear them all at once, but I just had to show them to you that way. Now, since I am sharing all my wood jewelry, I had to pair it with this gorgeous wood 
circular um, pieces of wood all put around both sides of this beautiful bag. And even the handles are braided dark wood of some kind mixed in with some dark shells and dark wood pieces. This has a zipper. This was, I believe, $5.99 or $8.99. Nice purse, dark interior, and I can't remember the maker, but it's obviously a purse from maybe the 40s or 50s. I think it's vintage because I remember my mother wearing purses like this. It's a nice size, goes with the dark jewelry, and the hat. Do you see the piece on the hat? It sort of matches the bag. It's dark straw, and I am going to wear this this summer somewhere. Maybe, who knows? I have something, maybe Mother's Day if we go anywhere. I don't know. But I have all summer to wear this outfit with this wood jewelry, probably with a cream outfit of some kind. And I'm just thrilled with all of this. Isn't this bag gorgeous? Now, the second bag that I bought today is this very beautiful leather and canvas, blue and white striped, $5.99. But I thought this was really nice. It goes with your, with your summer straws and things. I'm still looking for a nice pair of summer straw flats or sandals or espadrilles, but I'm sure I'll find them. I'm gonna stop sharing for a minute because I want you to go out in the garden with Moosey and see what I filmed this morning with Moosey having fun playing in the mud. I know I've talked a long time about my haul, but you're gonna love Moosey playing in the mud and you'll hear what he's doing. I'll get back to the sharing of the housewares after Moosey finishes. What I wanna do is update you on stuff that Dubby gave me what, two weeks ago? And there's, there's a success, there's a failure, and there's a maybe. So I'll tell you what the success is. Success is the sunflower. <laughs> this is a kid that comes with a mason, a mason jar and some sunflower seeds. So you pop the sunflower seeds in, you, you wet it and you put this on. In a few days, you get seedlings. Now, let me show you what we got here. Those will be sunflowers. They tell you to, to, to um, thin it down to like one and let that have this whole thing for, oh, and it'll grow, you know, pretty tall. That's a success. Now, let me tell you what a failure is. This is my organic mushroom kit with exquisite details and a, and a YouTube you can find. Look at, can you see all those mushrooms you get from it? And this is over a two week period. You keep it warm, keep it uh, moist. And this is what came out. Are you ready folks? Ta -da. That does not look very edible, no, does it? No, it looks very scary. <laughs> it smells fine. So, I'm going to I'm gonna write to these people and say, send me another one. These didn't work. And but he's been doing it very carefully, what he's supposed to be doing. That's my failure. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the pizza garden the seed ball kit. And you can get a regular rocket, which is, you know, arugula, arugula, right. oregano, whatever. Arugula. Yeah. And here's what you do. They provide you with soil. I'm just gonna take a picture of that because I missed that. It's called a seed ball kit, okay, for your pizza. All the trimmings for your pizza. Got it, yep. pizza garden. Yep. See okay. the little balls there? With the seed, with the Where? basil? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so what we do is we take the soil they provided. Can you see how thin that is? Yeah. And you mix it with garden soil. And 
then what you do, hold on. You're going to make some, as if you're gonna build a cake, make a cake. Put the water in. This is gonna get messy. No, you mix it up with your paws like this. Okay, your objective is to make a dough. See it coming into a dough? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now what you do is you make little balls. You about to see, like this? Like you were making a meatball. Okay. Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> oh, now don't be mocking me. Put it in this pan. <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. Were you going to cook these? <laughs> uh, hold on. I, I feel like I'm five years old again, playing in the mud piles. What do you think of this, Shamu? Huh? Do you think you might want some of this? I doubt it. Hmm, that looks like you know They're what. not brownies, they're dirt. <laughs> um, and I've made five of them. And I have this package of oregano. And what you do is you sprinkle it on there. Tiny, tiny seeds, don't waste them. Gone. And then what you do is you roll the ball in those tiny seeds. And then what you do I'm gonna do um, four more of different seeds. So you repeat but, the process. But, but yeah, repeat the process until I have 20 in here. And then what you do is you set it out and let it dry. And then when it's dry, you get a pot, a little pot, and you pop the ball into the pot. And that's where your, in this case, Oregano will grow out of and, that pot. And how long does this whole process take? Some take like 10 days and some take a month. So here's the other three packages. Arugula, which is sometimes known as, sometimes known as rocket. Love it. Uh, basil. Of course, I love that. Genovese basil. And oh, these are cherry tomatoes. Cherry, cherry tomatoes, good. Which we already have growing over here. Those seeds are so tiny, yeah. they're smaller than a, a pinpoint. Oh, so much smaller than a pinpoint. I hope yeah. they didn't get lost down. I hope they didn't get lost down in here in the pan. Yeah. Well, this is like making mud pies when I was five years old. <laughs> and I don't know what we did with them. We sat them in the sun, but I'm hoping that on our next pizza, which I make homemade pizzas, this will be <laughs> fabulous. So they were all lined up now. There's three or four or five of each one. And what you do is you let them, maybe I've already told you this, let them dry out for two or three days. And then you take the dry uh, ball and pop it in a pot and see what you get. Is that so that's it? A day in the life of a gardener. Yeah. <laughs> Good, bad, and indifferent. Well, Moose has finished his horticulture work sitting under his nice umbrella and I have made him some delicious scones as his reward for cooking those delicious mud balls for us. Raspberry jam on orange and cranberry scones with whipped cream on top. Oh, buddy. <laughs> few other things I picked up, and I don't want to make this too long here. A pretty soft Indian cotton um, scarf, and it has some really nice fringe on the bottom. This was $2.99. And then to get into a couple of housewares, look at this candle holder. It's beautiful. Look at these beautiful silver things. Now it hangs on the wall. It has a nice curve to it all the way around. It's almost Christmassy looking and you would put a beautiful candle here. And as a matter of fact, I did buy one. Maybe right here on the wall might look really nice on one of my, might look nice on one of my beams here. And then the other thing that I got, I'm always saying that the cottage is a little on the dark side and I'm not always looking for lamps, but then again, when you see a lamp, with an owl on it. Don't you just have to get it? <laughs> and 
This is a tree. I, I'm going to paint it the bark dark and put some umber on it and make it look like a tree bark. Paint the little owl. He's just so cute. Goes all the way up. And then even on the top, the finial is bark. And I paid $10 for that. Now remember, every single thing that I told you I bought was not the price I paid. I got 30% off all of these things. The one last thing that I want to share, and I want to get to my editing, is, uh, see, I can't lift this. As you know, the last video that I did was all about fairy gardens and gnome gardens. And a lot of ladies responded and said they wanted to do this with their granddaughters. And we had so much fun because I did it with my granddaughter, Shannon. And everything isn't always available in your towns or cities in 99 cent stores. So I was thinking and thinking about it. It's what happens to me when I go to bed at night, I think too much. And I thought there must be a way to find everything cheaper other than making all the houses and the bridges and everything out of twigs and moss, which you can do. And I found plenty of YouTubes that do all that. I did find in a thrift shop. So don't forget your thrift shops for all this. And I found some beautiful little, these are made in Britain, by the way. And they're little copies of castles, Cotswolds castles with the Cotswold stone. They have the British marking on the bottom and the little cottages and the old, beautiful old town stores. Look at this one too. This is a, a little cottage. Well, it's not really a cottage. Beautiful, beautiful Cotswolds homes. And you can make villages. These are made of some kind of plaster. And then I found if you're doing something on a larger scale, and I want to do a large scale something, maybe I'll even do it in my rock garden. I found one of those bridges from the New England, New Hampshire or somewhere. And I'm thinking they also have in thrift shops, these Christmas displays. I mean, you know all the houses that you get at Christmas time? People bring those to thrift shops and they're available for a couple of dollars. You could do Christmas churches and you could do snow. And your, your garden can be um, evergreens. You can do a, a garden with, with real little people, which is something else I found. I went into the Dolly area and I found for, you get bags of these things. All the little Disney girls, Rapunzel and Jasmine and Cinderella and all these little gals, they could be little fairies themselves. Look at them. They're from all those little Disney movies. And you could make your own little thing. Look, even little dollies that you could put wings on. Look at this little one. Look at this little sweet dolly. You don't have to use fairies or gnomes. You can make gardens with little people, Christmas gardens, everything. So that's how I've solved your fairy garden problem. So that's the end of my exciting thrift day. It's been a full day. Oh, and the other thing was that while I was shopping around, a lady came up to me, an elderly woman like myself, and she said, you look like someone that I watch on YouTube. Well, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> Quite frankly, it made me feel good. Remember, we were talking about that the other day. The fact that she came up to me, told me she recognized me. She has watched all my videos for the two years that we've been on YouTube. She now she said, oh, I know you, you live up in the hills. You have six children, oh, you're a nanny. Can you believe it? Now, this woman is not subscribed. She's just a regular watcher that has watched and looks forward to every video. And, you and I, sorry, what? You know your 
Oh, and I, Moosey says, and I even had my mask on. I was in this outfit, not looking great. No makeup, really. Well, your you doesn't show with, with, had my glasses on. And there I was clomping around in my jean shirt and just looking at everything. And another woman even came up to me while we were looking at the designer bags. We were trying to decide. She and I got talking and she said, you look like someone that I want to take advice from. Tell me if you like this bag. It was a Dooney Burke. She was trying to decide to get it. It was only $20. It was a beautiful big one. Plus she was in her mid sixties. And I said, remember you get that 30% discount. It's a great bag. And we started to talk and I found myself talking to her the way I talk to you on my YouTube. She was a woman that seemed to need, she just needed someone to talk to her. Her mother has Alzheimer's and she was a little down. She said she didn't feel she was living a purposeful life right now. So we talked a little bit about that. It just makes me feel so good to, to, to think that, that perhaps I can help someone like that. Sylvia, I wanted to say hello to you in this video, and I hope you're watching. Sylvia, you did subscribe, remember? Now, I want you to remember you are young, you're in your mid-60s. I want your life to be intentional, as you said. I pray for your mom. I'm sending you blessings. And I want you to get out there and do exactly that what we talked about. Enjoy your life, Sylvia. It was just a pleasure meeting you. So I am going to get ready to make our supper now. Moosey and I are having um, a shrimp pasta. Red sauce, he's wanted. So I picked some basil from the garden and we're gonna eat in a little while and then I'm gonna dig into my editing. As you can tell, I'm on a high, so I still have enough energy to finish all this up. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments that you make, no matter what kind of a video we do until our next video. And you might see us on Sunday because we are going to the uh, our little granddaughter's first communion this weekend. So it will be a busy weekend. And uh, hopefully I'll get a, a video up for you for Sunday. God bless us all. Bye for now.